Welcome to the Vermes booth here at Electronica Productronica India. I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Michael Schneider. Nice to see you yes. again, Michael. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. since we spoke last, which I think was Nuremberg, yes, Nuremberg, Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. you have been doing quite a bit of traveling uh, here in Asia, which of course is your main market. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Last week you were in Hanoi yes. for NEPCON yes. Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So, tell us a little bit about that, about the show itself and, and, and what the market's like for you mm -hmm. in, in Vietnam. Yes, I'm Mike Schneider. I'm the sales manager for Vermes in Germany. Mm -hmm. We are producing micro dispensing valves, yes. which are used in mainly electronic manufacturing yep. to jet small amounts of glue to join parts together. Right. And we usually cooperate with machine builders who then sell a complete solution machine with mm -hmm. our jetting head to contract manufacturers or other uh, end customers in right. Asia. Yeah. Our main market is China, where I'm mm -hmm. quite often, mm -hmm. and uh, what we observe is that um, there are new markets developing in Asia, mm -hmm. so there is not only China, Korea and Malaysia, which are our, which are our traditional markets, right. but uh, we observe that Vietnam uh, is a coming market and of course here in India. Yes. And last week uh, was the NEPCON in Hanoi. Mm -hmm. And I went there the, the first time because Vermes uh, also decided to open a small subsidiary in uh, Bak Ning city, mm -hmm. which is in the east, uh, in the east of um, Hanoi, yeah. where we uh, just have one person there okay. who supports our customers, mm -hmm. who uh, need uh, technical support, technical guidance mainly. But it's very difficult, we observe, to uh, get a local um, machine builder involved yes. to um, generate local sales. Yes. Because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's certainly a growing market, uh, Michael, but I mean, a lot of the, the Chinese manufacturers that have, that, uh, have, have moved uh, to get cheaper labor yes. mm -hmm. and, and more educated labor, because yes. it's a very highly yes. educated mm -hmm. workforce. There. Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah, so what, what kind of. Um, manufacturing applications uh, are, mm -hmm. are you uh, selling your valves into uh, in, yeah. in, in, in Vietnam? Well, our main customers in Vietnam are the same as in China, which means uh, smartphone manufacturers, iPad, iPod. Yeah. Uh, and um, we also have a few customers in automobile, but this is uh, not many in Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. So we uh, we followed in Vietnam also our, our customers mm -hmm. who are moving uh, production from China to, uh, to, uh, to, to Vietnam and especially in the northern part of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And um, this is why we, we founded Vermes uh, Vietnam. In Vietnam, yeah. okay. Now, you also do some work in the, in the uh, medical industry. That's quite a big segment yes, for you. But, yes. but is, that, is that big for you in Asia or is that uh, something that's more for the Western mm -hmm. countries like US? In, in Asia is uh, a minor business area. Mm -hmm. We have a bit of medical in Singapore, mm -hmm. but uh, there is, and in Malaysia, mm -hmm. but even in these two countries is uh, a minor portion, it's less than 5% of the total sales. Right. Whereas in the USA uh, for Vermes, uh, medical customers are quite important, the most important group, uh, right. because uh, they have manufacturing in the USA. Right. Now, in, in Nuremberg, we spoke a little bit about the different types of valves you've got. And I yes. see here you've got uh, like maybe five different valve types yes. uh, in, mm -hmm. in front of us yes. for different types of applications. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to talk to us very briefly about um, yes, what, what these Yes, shortly. So, Vermes uh, developed the jetting valves uh, mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, we uh, were developing uh, piezo, piezo technology-based valves. They have a piezo drive, piezo mm -hmm. stick. Yeah. Uh, because with a piezo stack you can uh, very precisely control the movement of a tablet and a nozzle insert because uh, the treading principle works as follows. You have a tablet mm -hmm. and a nozzle insert, a tablet moves up and down and then you are treading out uh, dots and lines. And in the bottom, yes. okay, that's fine. And Good. Uh, and these jets, of course, these, these valves all attach to some form of, of automation of or, 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 or system. Yes. And, mm -hmm. I, and at the far end of your booth, you have a, an example of that yes. with a, a small robot there yes. mm -hmm. that is um, basically um, showing the... desktop the robot, XYZ uh, motion it can do. It uh, can be used in manufacturing, mm -hmm. but it's, of course, a quite simple robot, which mm -hmm. we use here for demonstration. That's great, that's great. Now, 
Let's turn our attention to India. Uh, yes. This is obviously mm -hmm. a much bigger market yes. for you and a, and a growing one. Yep. Um, I believe you have a, uh, quite a, a team down here. So can yes. we introduce one of your, your yes. managers? Yes. So this okay. is Gautam. Yes. So uh, welcome, Gautam. Uh, Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so you're running the, the, the office down here for Vermis. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the Indian market and uh, you know the characteristics of it and uh, types of valves that you're, you're selling down here. Yeah, uh, actually, Indian market is like a kind of uh, very much evolving now. Mm -hmm. So the major focus is for the consumer electronics manufacturing, yeah. and also for, uh, and India is having a very big market for automotive manufacturing. Yeah. So we cater uh, solutions for consumer electronics, automotive, and the emerging uh, electrical mobility, e-mobility. 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 OK, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, I mean, the medical side actually is growing very big yes. here yes. In, yes. In, uh, in India as well. I mean, yes. there's been some recent announcements from the government uh, yeah. that they're going to be focusing a lot of the, the investment uh, yes. into the yeah. medical sector. Yeah, so, so we have a dedicated walls for medical uh, industries, mm -hmm. so where it is like FDA approved, and such kind of uh, walls where it is like high precision and very such mm -hmm. kind of uh, walls dedicated for medical industries as well. Right, right. Yeah. So, as I was saying earlier, Michael, I mean, when when the, some of these um, cell phone manufacturers that you work for uh, are coming out with new models, yes. uh, do they come to you uh, with specific challenges for dispensing and, 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 and bonding and that type of thing yeah. uh, for the new models? Yes, of course, uh, when there's a new iPhone or Vivo or, or Huawei or whatever mm -hmm. um, a mobile device uh, is in the design phase, mm -hmm. then uh, normally the headquarter talks with Vermis and then we have a look at the application and if we can, uh, can we do it, can we not do it, yeah. we uh, advise them and usually we do a chatting trials first in a, on a lab scale. And then very soon we move already in the production, in the real production environment and do test production there. Right, right. Because they right. always want to validate if the process is stable. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm sure they, they must hold you to pretty exacting standards given the, the volume yes, that you're doing. Yes, they, they want to run long trading trials in yeah. order to be sure that it were, there's nothing, uh, no problems in production later. Yes, yes. Yes. And they also want us to accompany them in different stages, so in the design phase in the prototyping, in uh, then the uh, initial ramp up of the production, yeah. in the uh, when the production is maturely running, and uh, then the phase out. Yes, yeah. yes, that's, that's amazing. This and they the must be bringing more mm -hmm. automation into all of this as well. You know, the, mm -hmm. the are they, are they, is, the, the, I guess that doesn't entirely involve you. You're really just working with the valves. Yes, uh, yes. But I'm we sure always work together with the machine builder. Yeah who then uh, brings the whole machine to a uh, contract manufacturer like JBL or Foxconn yeah. and there they do then the uh, production trials. Yes, yes. And great. then the uh, end customer, mm -hmm. the, smartphone the smartphone producer yeah. who is selling it, they are always involved. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Well, it must be uh, constantly exciting and challenging times for you, but yes. uh, mm -hmm. great to see how you're expanding here in, in Asia and uh, thank you for talking to us today. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.